In this video, we're going to take a basic look at blending. So I'm going to start by opening um, a recently edited file. So this is a picture I took of a snow scene, and I want to give it sort of an arty, artistic look. So I'm going to use some blends which come from Shadow House Creations, which I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So let's open one of these textures. I'm going to start off with one of Jerry's masks. So that now I'm going to show you how to combine two phot photographs and there's quite a few ways of doing this. But I'll start off by double clicking on my original picture. I click on the texture that I want to pull in. I make sure that my background is selected because then it will come above it. So I click and I drag it on. Now it's not quite the right size, so that's easy. You'll notice there's these points in the, in the corners and at the sides, and I can pull it to fit. Now I see, when I've done that, it's the bottom has disappeared. If you can't see the whole of the inserted picture, press Control-0 or Command-0 and you'll see all of a sudden you'll see everything. Sometimes you pull in a picture and you can't see it at all. Well make sure that layer is selected then press Control 0 or on the Mac Command 0 and you'll see exactly where it's placed the picture. Now we can drag that up so that it fits exactly over. If we go to the layers panel here this section here are the different kinds of blending modes. And what it does is it blends it with the layer below. So I'm going to choose for this lighten. And that's had a very interesting effect to that picture. Let's try something else. Let's try color dodge. Now I quite like what it's done to there because it's it's almost given it um, a ragged white background. And you can decide at this point, is that a little bit strong? If it is, go back to your layers panel and click on the opacity and turn the opacity down. So you can vary it. You might decide, oh, you just want a little bit, or actually you like the big contrast. Now, you don't have to just use one blend. You can use several blends. So I'm going to pull in another blend. We go to File. Open recently edited file. And this is one, again, a blend from Shadow House Creations, and it's one of my favorites. So now I'm going to show you a different way of pulling this texture into your picture. You go to Select All, and this selects the whole picture. Then you go to Edit, Copy. You then go to your other picture. And there's two ways of doing that. You can either click at the top or you can go down to your project bin and double click on the picture. If your project bin isn't open, just click on the name. I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to go edit, paste. And there it's pasted it in. And now I can do what I did before, grab the sides and cover the whole picture. Once I've done that, I tick to say that I'm happy with the way it's been done. And I'm going to apply, the blend I'm going to apply here is Multiply. And that's given it a sort of an old world, um, it was a ragged edge. And I, I really like that. But you might decide again, that's a little bit too strong. So you can go to the opacity and you can turn that down. And that's probably... A little bit better not quite so strong so there you have an interesting picture now I want to show you how to cycle through the different blends I'm going to switch this blend off at the bottom I'm going to take this back to normal and I'm going to put up the opacity to 100 so this is now switched off so the mask and un underneath is not affecting the background at all. 
what you do, make sure that the move tool has been selected and that you have the boxes around. Now hold down the shift key and press the plus key and you will notice that this changes to dissolve. Well in fact it hasn't made any difference at all. So let's try the next blend. Hold down the shift key and the plus. So that's the darkened blend and you can every time you hit the plus key it'll take you through to all the different options and again you might this is darker color you might find oh that's very nice but maybe a bit too strong so then you can just change the opacity as you go along let's try the next one shift plus and some of them work and some of them just don't work you'll start learning what works well for what and sometimes you might decide well I'm just going to cycle through them all just to see what they look like. And there we are, back to normal. So that's a brief introduction to blending a photograph with a texture or you can even do it with other photographs or you can do it with art.